really loved the first Princess Switch film, and I'm a big fan of Vanessa Hudgens. I love the Christmas films that she's in, especially. And I watched the second film. I was really pleasantly surprised because I wasn't sure how they would end up doing another Switch. And then I thought, well, I, I need to I need to watch the third one. This was released um, this year, and its full title is The Princess Switch Three: Romancing the Star, which is very annoying because the second film isn't actually called The Princess Switch Two. It's just called The Princess Switch Switched Again. So it's kind of annoying and irrational of me to be irked by that, but that's not the film's biggest problem. It was directed by Mike Roll, starring, of course, Vanessa Hudgens as Stacey, Margaret and Fiona. And given how the... I won't spoil anything, but given the second one's conclusion, I wasn't really sure what would be happening here. To be honest, I feel like it's really dull. Um obviously very well acted. I'm always impressed at Vanessa Hudgens' ability to switch between these characters. Even if they were filmed on different days, it's still impressive. Um, and in terms of the makeup and the costume department, they've done a fantastic job uh, given the three individuals that are on identities, particularly with Fiona. I'll read the description from IMDb, and this is as follows. When a priceless relic is stolen, Queen Margaret and Princess Stacy enlist the help of Margaret's cousin Fiona. Um, <laughs> okay, there's a massive grammatical error in the IMDb thing. Um, it says, "Enlist the help of Margaret's cousin Fiona teams with a man from her past to retrieve it, with romance and resulting in a very unexpected switch." That needs an edit. Basically, Margaret and Stacy actually enlist the help of Fiona this time. I find the narrative very boring. I don't care about this relic. I don't care who stole it. I feel like the narrative is very poorly executed and not really that interesting of a concept anyway. So. I wasn't that bothered about it. I didn't care what happened with the characters or when a switch would happen or how they'd do it. Whereas with the second film, I was genuinely really curious and I had no idea how they were going to do it. This one just felt monotonous. On the plus side, this was filmed in Edinburgh and in Glasgow, bringing a little bit of uh, glamour to the, the, the middle of Scotland. Uh, <laughs> It happens sometimes. The film itself, you know, the acting is good. The characters are interesting enough still. The costumes, the makeup, the set designs, the locations, beautiful. It is just the narrative. And I feel a little bit let down by that. So if you've watched the first two films and liked them, I'd say give this a watch just so you've watched it and you've completed that trilogy. I don't know if there'll be a fourth film. But if you didn't like the second film, I wouldn't say it's worth pushing on with this one because it is worse. Um, but, you know, some people like it, um, and that's all that matters. The poster for this really amuses me, though, because it's got Stacey, Margaret, and Fiona, and then underneath it just says Vanessa Hudgens, Vanessa Hudgens, and Vanessa Hudgens. Brilliant achievement for her. The film itself could have been better. Worth watching if you like the other two, but otherwise, personally, I wouldn't bother.